184.6 for Chris Herrera. Right over here on the blue, brother. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. Please welcome Luke Bondole. Undefeated as a pro, 4-0-1, oh, one, one submission of those four wins. He stands six foot two. One eighty five exactly for Luke Bondole. They'll be kicking off our show at one hundred and eighty five pounds. Give it up for him, Chris Herrera and Luke Bondole. Moving down to Bantamweights, 135 pounds. Fabian Gonzalez versus Albert Morales. First to the scale, fighting out of Whittier, California. Please welcome Fabian Gonzalez. Record of 2-0, and oh, one submission in those two wins. He stands five foot eight. One thirty five point four for Fabian Gonzalez. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of Carson, California, Albert Morales. Twenty three years old, making his pro debut. One thirty four point six for Albert Morales. Do it, buddy. The Bantam weights, they are always fun. Fabian Gonzalez versus Albert Morales. Now on to the lightweights, 155 pounds, Derek Anderson versus Danny Navarro. First to the scale, fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Derek Anderson. <laughs> Record of 11 and one. What's up, boy? How are you doing, bud? Good to see you, man. Has point eight to go, has two hours to make it. You're okay. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Riverside, California, Danny Navarro. Record of 12 and four as a professional, two knockouts, five submissions. He stands five foot 10. One fifty five point four for Danny Navarro. Let's give it up for the lightweights, Derek Anderson versus Danny Navarro.
Next up, another bout in the lightweight division, 155 pounds, Jonathan Rivera versus Steve Cazola. First to the scale, fighting out of Lake Forest, California. Please welcome Jonathan Rivera. Undefeated as, at a, as a pro at 4-0. 155.7 for Jonathan Rivera. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Steve Cazola. Also undefeated as a pro, 4-0. All of his wins finishes. Hold still, man. 155 and a half for Steve Cazola. Let's give it up for him. Jonathan Rivera versus Steve Cazola. Next up, a fight in the heavyweight division. Everett Cummings versus Jason Glaza. First to the scale, fighting out of Corona, California. Please welcome Everett Cummings. Undefeated at 8 and 0, seven finishes. 232 for Everett Cummings. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of Victorville, California. Please welcome Jason Glaza. Record of two and one, one win by knockout. He stands six foot one. Two thirty seven point three for Jason Glaza. Let's give it up for the heavyweights, Everett Cummings versus Jason Glaza, ladies and gentlemen. And our final preliminary fight in the middleweight division, 185 pounds, Dustin Jacoby versus John Salter. First to the scale, fighting out of Englewood, Colorado. Please welcome Dustin Jacoby. Record of 10 and four as a professional, eight knockouts, one submission. He stands six foot four. One eighty-five and a half for Justin Jacoby. And his opponent fighting out of Fresno, California. Please welcome John Salter. Professional record of 10 and 3, six knockouts, four submissions. 185.8 for John Salter. Let's give it up for our final preliminary fight. 185 pounds, Justin Jacoby versus John Salter. And on to the televised portion of our show. Check us out on Spike TV. First to the scale. All the way from San Jose, California, fighting out of Lithuania. Please welcome Marius Zoramskis. Record of 20 and 8 as a pro, 13 knockouts, one submission. He stands five foot nine. One sixty nine point four for Marius Zaramskis. 
Marius, another fight in Bellator, another young striker coming at you. How excited are you about this fight? Yeah, long time and very exciting and looking forward for tomorrow. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of Menifee, California. Please welcome Fernando Gonzalez. Record of 22 and 13, nine knockouts, six submissions in those 22 wins. He stands five foot nine. Trying to towel? We'll see how much underwear weighs. And he made it, one seventy one. <laughs> underwear is always different. Never know. First, it was Carl Amasu, then Carl Parisian, now Marius Zoromskis. Tough fights in Bellator every time, but you've had success here in Temecula. You said this is what you've been looking forward to. Tell me why. Oh, man, I love fighting some of the tough guys in the world. It's, it's been my, my dream for a very, very long time. And uh, of being able to fight a, a veteran like Marius Zoromskis is a, is a pleasure and an honor. And I'm looking forward to putting my hands on him. Don't miss this fight. It kicks off the televised portion of our show at Welterweights. Fernando Gonzalez versus Marius Zoromskis. Give it up for him. And our next fight in the light heavyweight division, Houston Alexander versus Virgil Zwicker. First to the scale out of Omaha, Nebraska. Please welcome Houston Alexander. <laughs> Record of 16, 10, and 1, 11 knockouts, three submissions. Point four for Houston Alexander. I know you respect your opponent, Virgil Zwicker, but a draw is not what you come in to fight for. What's the outcome tomorrow night? Very exciting fight. Do not turn the channel. Period. Hey, my man. Great stuff. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Temecula, California. Please welcome Virgil Zwicker. A record of 12, 4, and 1 as a professional. Nine knockouts, two submissions. He stands six foot two. Two oh six on the dot for Virgil Swicker. I know you respect your opponent, Houston Alexander. Last time you went into his backyard and fought. This time he's coming into your backyard. How is it different? Because we're on the res. <laughs> res dogs are going to be here. Got my crowd here, and it's game time. All eyes on me. So. 
Do not miss it at light heavyweight, the rematch. Houston Alexander versus Virgil Zwicker. Give it up for him. <laughs> Headbutt jokes, they're always funny. Next up, the featherweights, 145 pounds, Georgie Karahanian versus Bubba Jenkins. First to the scale, fighting out of Riverside, California. Please welcome back to Bellator, Georgie Karahanian. <laughs> Record of 23, four and one. Four knockouts, 13 submissions. He stands five foot eight. One forty five point eight for Georgie Karhanian. Georgie, you told me the first time I was in Bellator, I was a kid. I wasn't half the fighter I am now. What are you going to show the Bellator fans tomorrow night? That I've grown as a fighter and I'm coming here to whoop ass. And his opponent fighting out of Corona, California. Please welcome Bubba Jenkins. <laughs> Professional record of eight and one, three knockouts, three submissions. He stands five foot seven. One forty-five point nine for Bubba Jenkins. Bubba, there's a time in every fighter's career when you go from prospect to contender. Is this that fight for you tomorrow night? Absolutely. It's a big bridge into the next part of my career. People know that I'm supposed to be a champion. I'm going to be a champion, and it's just this first step to it. Let's give it up for him. The featherweights, 145 pounds, Georgie Karahanian versus Bubba Jenkins. And our main event of the evening for the Featherweight World Championship, 145 pounds, a five round fight. Daniel Strauss versus the champion, Patricio Pitbull, first to the scale, fighting out of Coconut Creek, California. Please welcome Daniel Strauss. <laughs> Record of 22 and five, four knockouts, five submissions. He stands five foot seven. One forty three point four for Daniel Strauss. Yes, right here, Daniel. Daniel, you told me it isn't about the physical part of the game, it's about the mental part of the game leading to this championship fight. What's on your mind a day away from this fight? I'm all there, man. You know what I'm saying? So I've been there for the past eight weeks and beyond that, so I've already got them beat. And please welcome the Bellator featherweight world champion, Patricio Pitbull. <laughs> Fighting out of Natal, Brazil. He has a record of 22 and two, eight KOs, eight submissions. One forty four point three for the champ, Patricio Pitbull. Like 
Patricio, for years, I've seen how motivated and how driven you were to win this title. How driven are you to keep it by beating your opponent tomorrow night, Daniel Strauss? Por muito tempo você estava com muita fome, motivado para realizar seu sonho e tornar campeão mundial. Você estava com o mesmo fome igual para defender seu título. Ah, sabe de uma coisa? Eu resolvi levar o nível de competição aqui e ninguém nesse esporte pode me bater. You want to know something? I'm going to raise the level of competition here and nobody can beat me in this sport. Amanhã à noite você vai ter um grande problema. Tomorrow, Strauss, you're going to have a big problem. For the Featherweight World Championship, the champ, Patricio Pitbull versus Daniel Strauss. Give it up for him. Thank you so much, Temecula, California. We'll see you at the fights tomorrow night. Thank you, Jimmy Smith. Thank you to the fighters. Summer Mercedes, thank you, Mr. Scott Coker. Hey, to all the fans that joined us here for the live weigh-ins and those joining us on the live stream, we thank you as well. Tomorrow night, doors will open at 3.30. We'll see you here at Pachanga Resort and Casino and live on Spike TV, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 8 o'clock Central. See you tomorrow night for Bellator MMA. I'm going to assume that we're done. <laughs>